I've committed a heroic act and a grave sin. I bought this nerf blaster so you don't have to. This is the latest hyper blaster to be released this year and currently the smallest one within the lineup. This is the nerf fuel 20, a 20 round ball hopper blaster. I'm already so pessimistic before I've even opened up this blaster because of three major things. First of all, I'm concerned about how comfortable this priming bar might be. I'm concerned about this blaster being too big since the hyper rush 40 is already quite compact. And the thing that concerns me the most, currently this blaster costs the exact same price as a Nerf Hyper Rush 40, a blaster that holds double the amount of rounds. So even though this is newly released, it already feels obsolete. So join me on this wondrous journey to see if I burned over $30 for this blaster. I just walked into Walmart and I found this blaster, which is pretty insane considering only Nerf Taiwan has reviewed it as of this recording right now. And it feels like this blaster has just been leaked to Canada early, which is great for me. <laughs> Let's pray that this is a small blaster. Oh no. Oh no. This blaster is too massive. I'm already incredibly disappointed. I know this is stylistic. It gives you some extra places to put on some more ammo, but that just increases the volume of this thing by so much. I also wanna see if they've improved the hopper system for this because that was a big gripe I had with the Rush 40. Some of the balls weren't feeding properly. Let's hope they fix that problem. So that's the size of the Fuel 20. And this is the Rush 40. The, this blaster is larger. How is that possible? This feels like the biggest scam. Our hopper right up here, which just opens like that. Take our rounds, plop them in there, close this up. So it's a gravity fed hopper. You have to make sure that the blaster is at least in line or pointed downwards for a ball to feed into the proper position. Let's just try this out. Bad. Did it? Why is this so ass? Dude. Okay, only took three tries to fire a single round. What? Why is it getting jammed? This is actually unbelievable right now. This actually jammed. This is like my third time firing it. Oh my God. As you can tell, I'm getting very desperate. Leave a like for more destruction. All the stuff right here is quite comfortable. Zero complaints with that. The quality of the build is quite nice. And the priming handle is actually better than I thought. It's not too bad to just get two fingers in there and prime it back and push it forward. And this is pretty solid plastic here, so you don't have to worry about that snapping off. The priming bar is actually pretty decent as far as priming bars go. And yes, this blaster is still broken. I couldn't fix it. I feel no need to review the rest of this blaster. But using the last of my brain power, I did manage to figure out how to unjam it. Well, I finally unjammed this blaster and honestly, it was such a bad jam that I legitimately thought the blaster was broken and I was ready to hop in my car and drive to Walmart to return this thing. But I guess fate wants me to continue this review. So let's talk about this hopper. To open the door, you have to take two fingers and pry open the door. It's not very easy. I think the Rush 40 did it better. And what you notice immediately upon opening this up is that the balls sit very, very close to the edge of the door, meaning all it takes is just one good tip of the blaster and you just have rounds falling out of there. And if you're running gunning in a nerf battle and you're bending down, picking up rounds, it's easy to forget that this thing is open and oh, there goes all your ammo. With this giant access door, reloading can be kind of like a balancing act, making sure that you don't drop anything while this thing is open. You can fit more than 20 rounds in here, but they start to get really squished up against the door and that can cause some more jamming issues. Oh yeah, and speaking of jamming, yeah, this, this thing sucks. And due to the gravity fed hopper situation here, you have to aim the blaster down every single time you want to prime it. Pretty inconvenient, but if you don't do it, you'll end up in jamming purgatory like I did, and that was terrible. And even when trying to prime this blaster properly, it still dry fires at least once every 20 shots. That is way too often. Imagine you line up your shot, you pull the trigger, and nothing fires. That's like one to four times every 20 shots. And after I fixed that big nasty jam, playing with this blaster for five more minutes, it already jammed two more times. It's easy to get into the groove of firing this blaster repeatedly using the priming handle, but what I did notice after firing dozens of shots is that the back of my palm started to get sore from pushing the priming handle so many times. A warning to those extreme nerf users, watch out because this part can start to irritate your palm. 
The Fuel 20 has fallen flat on so many categories and unfortunately accuracy and performance is not going to be its saving grace either. So doing my short range firing test about 20 to 30 feet away, this thing was already kind of going nuts. Time to time I would actually hit the middle target, but a lot of times these rounds were already curving to the left or up or down. There's no discernible pattern. So at long range, the inaccuracy would be even more apparent. I thought it was just the rounds, but it's also the blaster as well because I started firing the Rush 40 and that was more accurate than this blaster. For average velocity, the Fuel 20 was getting around 114 feet per second. As referenced, the Rush 40 was getting around 122 feet per second. Here's an analogy to describe how I feel about this blaster. So we have the Nerf Hammershot, a six round blaster, let's say that costs $15. Now let's imagine that Nerf created a brand new Hammershot that's slightly smaller in form factor, but holds only three rounds and costs the exact same price. Well, that's essentially the situation in Canada, and this is a complete scam. This is an early release of the blaster, so I don't know what the retail price is going to be in the US, but honestly, I would not even consider this blaster unless it was around 10 USD or less. Currently in the US, you can buy the Rush 40 for 22 bucks, so there's no reason to get this unless it's like half the price. But then again, you have the relentless jamming and dry fire issues. To me, the Fuel 20 feels like the classic nerf example of content for the sake of content. It doesn't exist for any other purpose but to make Hasbro more money, provide a little more variety on shelves for kids who don't know any better, and it fills zero niche. Maybe there's some modding merits here, but honestly, I, I'm just so frustrated with this and the price. I'm done with this blaster. So that's about it. See ya.